fully new cat's house, actually. They control everything, right? So, it's interesting to note that the cat is not a small dog. Not at all. Not at all. They have different needs. By the way, we, as humans, we are omnivores, right? We eat vegetables, we eat meat. What about cats? What are they? They are carnivores, right? What about dogs? Omnivores, like us. Same, same. Cats are carnivores. Dogs are omnivores. Cats, they need animal protein in the food. They need animal protein in the food. They need specific elements to be complete and balanced when they eat the food. You cannot feed a cat with a dog. If you do this, the cat will become sick. You need a specific food for a cat. You need taurine in the food. Right? So, the behavior of a dog and a cat are completely different. Let me give you an example. When you come back home, you open the door. You can see maybe your dog or your puppy made some damages in the apartment or in the house, right? It can happen if the dog is alone, is born, is destroying something, you enter in your house, and you notice, oops, something happened. And you look at your dog and the dog is going to do this, right? And you think the dog understands what it did. Actually, no. The dog does not understand what he did, but the dog is connected to your eyes, directly connected to your eyes. And when you enter your house, you surprise, and your dog recognizes your eyes and says something strange. So the dog does not remember what he did, but he connects his vision to your vision. It's directly connected to you because it was domesticated like this for hunting. Dog is the only species when you do this. The dog looks the direction of the finger. If you do this to a cat, the cat will look at your finger. So what, what is that? So the dog is the only species looking at the direction of your finger because he has been domesticated for hunting. So a dog is connected to you. For the cat, it's a bit different. It's emotional. It's not looking in the eyes. It's thinking. It's introspective. The cat is much more introspective. Not so straightforward compared to the dog. I'm not judging good or bad, I'm just telling you the way they do. This picture is a good summary, right? You are happy, your dog is happy. Right? You are sad, then you don't know that you're okay. I don't bother you now. For cats, he's the boss. You will choose. Don't impose anything to your cat. It won't work. I was a doctor in my hospital. Strength doesn't work. When, people, when you go to the vet clinic, the best is to put the box on the table, open the door, come down, and let the cat looking around. And he will decide, yes or no, I want to go out. So, today's cats are not ancestral cats. They live inside, most of the time, uh, they spend less energy, so they are, they are prone to overweight, that's one thing. They have access to the food all the time. A cat eats maybe 10 times a day, small meals, go to the bowl, eating only the time, eating, sleeping, eating, roaming, sleeping, 20 hours, 23 hours a day, probably the cat. That's why. So the cat will eat all along the day. You need to leave the food all day long for the cat. You give half in the morning, half in the evening, and you let the cat eat when it wants. If you don't do this, the cat will be frustrated. He will search for prey, he will search for food. Maybe he will start running everywhere. Right? So important, leave the food all the time for the cat, half in the morning, all day long, half in the evening, for dogs, it's a bit different. Dog is a heavy eater. It tends to eat faster. So the best for the dog is to take the food of the day, 
and cut in two or three leaves. Part in the morning, part for lunch, part for the evening. If you cannot do three times, do two times. But always divide the food for the dog, half in the morning, half in the evening. So different feeding habits between dogs and cats. And of course, cats live very long. Usually, usually, the smaller the pet, the longer the life. A chihuahua will always live longer than a San Bernard. A cat tends to live long. It's common to have a cat 70 years old, 20 years old, 23 years old sometimes, even more. It's very common. Okay, another issue we can talk about, issue or something specific for cats, they are prone to hair balls. Okay? Especially if they have long hair. So long hair, a lack of grooming, for example, if you don't brush your cat well, it's not enough. But some cats sometimes tend to lick themselves a lot. They can swallow a lot of hair and it's in the bottom. So long hair cats are prone to hair ball. Some cats sometimes lick themselves too much. Too much grooming can lead to hair balls. The hair balls can lead to a poor transit, right? Lack of fiber in the food is also a reason why some cats can have hair balls. Two, twice a year, the cat will tend to lose his hair more often. That's why it's important to wash it. Overweight is also a reason why a cat tends to have hair balls. So don't let your cat be gone. Important. And the lack of activity. When you have a lack of activity, your muscle don't work that much. And because they don't work that much, your bowel doesn't work that much. And the transit is slow. So it's the reason why some cats have hair balls. Another thing specific for cats is the fact that they don't drink that much. They don't drink a lot. This is due to the fact that a long time ago, they were coming from the desert. And because they were coming from the desert, they would train and they learn to survive with a small amount of water. Some cats drink normally, but most of the cats have a tendency not to drink too much. And because of that, the urine is very dense. And they can have some urinary problem. It's very common for cats to have urinary problem. Very common, especially the male cats. So you need to do everything you can to make your cat drink more. How? You can serve wet food, for example. You can also put a fountain with water. The cats, they love steering water. They love, they like moving water. So you can put a fountain in a very good way to stimulate the drinking. Okay. Sometimes you can hear salt is not good for a cat. No, salt is bad. I would say it's not exactly like this. We, as humans, should not eat too much salt because sodium increases the blood pressure. But for cats and dogs, they can handle a very high level of sodium without being sick. And sometimes when a cat doesn't drink enough, some food can contain a bit more salt to make them drink more and it's good. Cool. So don't be worried about this, and of course don't be worried about sodium in pet food. We keep the level not too high, not too low, to make sure that the urinary tract is good and safe. Okay, so what do you expect from, from the food you buy, you may eat? First, you expect the food to be tasty. You expect the food to be made with real ingredients, real meats. Some pet food companies, they use flavors, fish flavors, but without fish. We use real ingredients, for instance. As I said, make sure you use pet food for your cat. I know it seems so simple, but if you don't give this, your cat can have a deficiency, and the deficiency can lead to heart problems or vision problems. And of course, make sure it's balanced in minerals to make sure that everything will well, including in the urine. Oh, by the way, we do Maxim products, and the Maxim pink range has two different flavors. And why am I doing this? Why am I, why am I talking about this? 
It's because when you switch from one food to another, you should not change the food immediately without transition. You must always do a food transition step by step, not to disturb the transit of your hand or your dog. When you change to a new food, you need to mix both together. And you serve 25 of the new one, 25%, 75% of the old one for two days. Then you get 50-50 for two days. Then 75-25 for two days. Then you give the new food 100%. Always do a food transition when you switch to a new food. The only exception is Maxime. For Maxime, we have two flavors. They were designed for you to switch from salmon to tuna, from tuna to salmon, without any food transition. And you can change along the day what you want. So it's a good to know. Okay? That's the food transition you should respect. So always do it when you switch. Except for Maxim two lines and one you can switch whenever you want. Feeding guidelines. How much food should I give to my cat? How much food should I give to my dog? Always follow what's written on the back. It's easy. You have the body weight, the weight of the cat, and you need to know how much you have to give per day. These are the quantities per day, not per meal. If I take a 5 kilo cat, a cat should eat around 80 grams per day. You give 40 in the morning, you leave it all day long, and you give 40 in the evening, and you leave it all night long. Okay? No problem. The best way for you to know how much food you can give is to read the table, and the best is to use a scale. Right? If you have to give 80 grams per day, if you make a mistake of 10 grams, 10 grams doesn't seem a lot, but it's 10% more. And 10% more every day can lead to overweight. So the best is to use a scale. In the morning, you weigh 80 grams, and you serve half in the morning, half in the morning. Okay? You can use a cup, but remember, cups are not very accurate. It's not very precise. Oh, interesting, how to preserve the food. When you open the bag, question, how long should, you fi should it take to finish the bag? Let's say you take a bag of vaccine here. You open the bag, when should you finish it? I mean, you can't. How long can you keep it? Bonus. You should finish the bag within three to four weeks. That's the best. You can keep longer, of course. But when you open the bag, the best is to use it within three to four weeks. And never forget, when you open the bag, you serve the food, and then you close the bag. Remove the hair. And then use the ziplock, for example, in this case, or use a clipper. Avoid leaving some air inside the bag because air makes the food losing its flavors. Okay? So keep the food in the original bag and always close the bag after usage and finish the bag within two to three weeks. That's the best. Both for cats and dogs. So a small dog needs a small bag, a big dog needs a big bag. Make sense? Now, You can use a container, right? If it's a big bag, you can use a container. It's a good idea to use a container, right? No problem. The thing is, don't put the food directly in the container, in the container because plastic gives a specific taste to the food. So if you use a container, put the bag with the food inside and close the bag inside the container. That's the best way to preserve it. Okay? So containers are great, but don't put the food directly in the container. Okay? If you have white food, as it's written on the screen, 
you will use a can or a pouch of food, you can keep it for 24 hours when you open it. You open the pouch, you open the can, you can keep it 24 hours, but it has to be put in the fridge and you need to warm it a little before serving the next meal. Because if the food is cold, the cat doesn't like it. Cats love warm. They love warm prey. When they hunt a bird, they eat it immediately. So don't serve the food cold, keep it in the fridge, and then serve it at room temperature for the second part. And then after 24 hours, if the food is not eaten, put it in the fridge. Okay? Important. Let's talk about a bit about Maxime, the food, the premium food we have. We have two foods, one for kitten and modern cats, and one for adult indoor lifestyle. Okay, two different foods, premium level. Ziploc, flat bottom, and I would like to insist again on something. We care about taste, we care about digestibility, and we care about food safety. We don't want any contamination of the food, that's why in our factory we never put anything on the market until we are 100% sure there is no contamination. Okay? Right. That's the adult food with specific benefits. We control the weight. We have 15% less energy than any other food. We control the animals thanks to specific fibers. We use yucca. Yucca is a plant, is an extract we put in the food to reduce the smell of the poops. We have EPA, DHA, omega-3, omega-6. We improve their hair and skin. A good skin gives a good coat. And of course, we take care of urine because we know cats are sensitive on the urinary tract disease. Remember to always use the best, the, the good size of bags. When you buy it, if you have one cat, the best is to use a small bag. If you have a, several cats, please use a few bag. Okay? High protein level and only real fresh ingredients. We have a food for kitten, not only for kitten, but also for the mother. We will talk about the mother later. Focus on digestion, focus on growth, focus on immunity. You have prebiotics, two types of prebiotics in the food. And we care also for urine, especially for the mother, because the food can be eaten by the mother. High protein level and only fresh, real ingredients. Control with the never too high, never too low. People tend to think that more is better. Too much is not good. The point is to be at the right level. Okay, let's talk about pregnancy when the mother is waiting for kittens. How long is the pregnancy? How long does the mother keep the baby inside her? How long? Around one month 
after being pregnant. The nipples start increasing in size around the six weeks of pregnancy. And it's important to note, the food for the mother cat needs to be adapted when she's pregnant. The problem, you don't know when she's pregnant. You know when she's pregnant only after one month. During the first month, you don't know. So after one month, when you start seeing the signs with your vet or by yourself, you can start seeing it. The best advice you can have is to give kitten food for the mother when she's pregnant. But you don't know. After the first month, if you think you know and you're sure she's pregnant, give kitten food. And that's why the food for kitten is also indicated for the mother. It was specially designed for the mother in the same time. Kitten and on account. What does the mother need when she's pregnant? Of course, she needs protein. More protein is why? Because the kittens will grow and grow is made of protein most of the time. More energy for the mother. She will have to produce milk later. She needs to make fat deposits. It's important for the mother to get some fat when she's pregnant. I'm not talking about obese. She needs to make a fat deposit when she's pregnant because later when she needs to produce milk, the milk and the energy to make the milk will come from the top. So the mother cat needs to make some fat during pregnancy to be able to make milk later. If she's skinny during pregnancy and she has the baby skinny, she will not have enough milk. She will not have enough milk. It's too late. So it's important for cats, the mother cat, to make a fat deposit during pregnancy to be able to produce some milk. Important. Okay. More minerals and of course digestible because the belly will be uncomfortable between six and eight weeks of pregnancy. Okay. So to come back at the food, let's say your female cat is dating another cat. At that time, she's not pregnant, not yet. You have nothing to do. You continue feeding your mother or your cat, your female cat, with adult food. For example, Maxim adult. Maxim is adult. Then she gets pregnant. During the first month, remember, you don't know if she's pregnant. So what do you do? You continue feeding with adult cat. And then when you notice she's pregnant at that time, you do a full transition to kitten and other cat. Okay? And this is the food for her until the kittens can eat pet food by themselves. Okay? And you keep eating kitten and other cat food all the time for the mother. And when the babies are here and they are drinking milk, you continue eating kitten and other cat food to the mother. So when the babies are born, they are blind, they don't see anything, their eyes are closed, they don't hear anything. The only thing they can do is search for their nipples and drink some milk and sleep all the time. So at that time what do you give? You give kitten food for the mother, no change. Then around the third week of birth, the eyes will start opening and then the kittens will start hearing more and they can start moving a bit more further from the mother. At that time, the kittens drink milk but the mother eats kitten and mother cat, of course. And then, around the fourth week, four weeks of age for the babies, the teeth are coming. Okay? At that time, this is the right time to start making a full transition from milk to solid food for the kitten, but not immediately, step by step. Okay? When the kittens are four, five weeks of age, is the right time to switch them to pet food, step by step. To do this, you can use wet food, but did you know that this dry food, you can mix it with milk and make 
a groove, something soft, especially for the guitars. They can start licking step by step with a little piece, hard pieces in the middle of the keyboard. So they can start licking, chewing, suddenly understand they can use the teeth. So this food can be rehydrated. You can mix with warm milk or warm water. I think the best can be with warm milk. So you can put the same level of keyboard with the same volume of milk. Okay? Don't put too much. When you reach the top of the keyboard with warm milk, that's enough. You keep the cup for 5 to 10 minutes and then you use a, use a fork where you can crush the food to make a gruel, a bit like this. Okay? And you can start giving the food to the kitten. Not too much, just some on the nose. The kitten will start licking and the mother will also eat the food and she will lick the kittens and it will stimulate the kitten to pet food. So it's great to have a food, the same food for the mother and for the kitten because only one food to give and the kitten will sooner start pet food. And why is it good to give soon? Because the sooner the kittens eat pet food, the sooner they become independent. If they always drink milk, they are always attached to the mother but they, they depend on the mother. If they eat pet food and they are independent, it's easier for the kittens to discover the world discover the world. Oh, by the way, I have the question sometimes, how long should I keep my kitten before someone adopt them? So if you want to give a kitten to a friend or a family, should I give them at two months of age or three months of age or later? Don't give them too soon. They need to be educated by the mother. If they are given to soon, the mother doesn't have the time to teach them what is good, what is bad. They may tend to be a bit tough. So the best is to give the kittens when they are three months of age. When the kittens are three months, it's the right time to give the kitten to a friend or a family member. Not to worry. All right. I'm finished with the talk. Just to let you know that we are about to launch in a few weeks premium, premium food for dogs. Okay, adult food with salmon. I'm not going into details, it's just to let you know that Maxim, Aboitis, and Pimipo are committed on always proposing to you the best possible food. Premium food, premium bag, and again, I insist food safety. You don't make compromise on food safety. So I'm here to answer any question you may have. Come to me. If you have questions on the dog, on your cat, you want any advice on nutrition, it's my job. Don't hesitate and thank you very much for your participation. Thank you. Dr. Jeremy. I have only questions for Dr. Jeremy. 